So the climb up Kinsman Ridge is no joke. This is worse than Lehigh Gap. This is like 10 Almost times in. worse. Good morning, it's day 140. We have our close call. He has returned, the prodigal son. <laughs> he has returned to us after a slipping and sliding after a very harrowing day yesterday. We're here at our lovely moose poop campsite. Uh, it was very mossy. I had um, some knife roots poking me. But uh, I was able to kind of maneuver around them. Yeah, we're about to take off. Unfortunately, someone felt the need to leave a bunch of trash here. Gigantic thing of peanut butter. Um, there was a tin of dip that someone left. And this thing is also filled with trash. So um, a lot of great individuals out here just uh, stinking it up for the rest of us. We are going to leave it better than we found it. Mm -hmm. So we're packing this junk out. And uh, yeah, just it's really, it's really sad that, that some people feel the need to just leave their garbage in such a beautiful, magnificent place. So um, there's that. Yeah, we're gonna clean it all up and we're gonna tackle the Kinsmans today, Ooh. north and south. Ooh. We might, uh, we might take a little shortcut down to the road, yeah. down the Fish and Jimmy Trail. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna hit up Camp Store. Camp Store! The real Camp Store. The original. the original Camp Store. And wait to get picked up by Tina. And she's gonna bring us back to the house. And we're gonna have a good, good time mm -hmm. with, a, with a 10 mile Nero today. Even though it includes two 4,000 footers. <laughs> but, uh, a cake. Not quite a yeah, for the whites, that's a good solid Nero. <laughs> so, good stuff today. See you guys on the trail. All right, we got a good looking root ladder here. It's like a rope ladder. I know. But it's root. It's perfect. They didn't even have to put in steps. So we're about two and a quarter miles in for the day. About an hour 45, we're going relatively slow. Ooh, get a nice view here. Um, but the terrain has been very, very rugged for us. There she is. Yeah, the part. There's Kinsman. Ooh, Ooh careful. <laughs> the part in between She's the Kinsman's and Musalak is very slow going. Yep. It, uh, for people who know the area, it reminds us a lot of uh, the Cannonballs on, and uh, hiking the Northeast Cannonball in between the Kinsmans and Cannon. It's very rugged. Some, some beaver bogs here and there, but just uh, very, very rocky and rooty and you just really got to take your time out here. So we knew we would slow down and yeah, the past two days has been a real testament to that. Yes, patience and uh, not to vlog when it's very precarious. Well, we got some power lines here and normally they're, I mean, they, they are sometimes offer a good view, but we got some incredible cliff action up there. I, I know we're not going up that way, but we might. We might. <laughs> we might. But yeah, otherwise it doesn't really offer. Oh, there's actually a view off to this side. There's some, I think the Kinsmans are right up here. Might be able to see them. Wow, that is a really pretty view. Too bad there's this big old wooden post here, but wow. This, this little bump over here, I believe is Little Haystack. Over here is South Kinsman. 
So we're going to be going up this way. I don't see the, the rock faces, so they might be actually behind the tree here. But south is over here, and then north is just beyond that. So that's about three miles away. Judging by our speed, we should be there in about 4.5 hours. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're here at Eliza Brook, and uh, we are toast. I think it's just rollover from yesterday. We're feeling, we're feeling it today. We're super tired. Super hungry. Super hungry. I, usually, I don't get hungry until like six or seven miles in, but. We're not even four miles in and like I'm stumbling because I'm just so, so hungry and even after absolutely devouring like so much food last night, our bodies, I think this is just rollover from yesterday. We're going to need to really beef up on calories in town tonight. <laughs> yeah, because we brought a lot of food with us and I thought for sure there'd be some extra. Our food bags were overflowing. I think we're just barely gonna scrape by. I mean, this is our fifth day out, but wow. It is gonna be a, a learning curve being back, back in the whites, you know, with big packs for sure. Yeah, we're, we're so used to having the little day packs, but out here at least, but yeah. So we're, you know, we're taking our time, slower going now. slow. Go, yep, yeah, we're going slower and we're needing more food. So it's an awakening for sure. Oh boy. Hello, happy Thursday, friends. We are just heading up South Kinsman. Really exciting day, but we are just absolutely mind blown at how hungry we are doing all this climbing now and I think the cooler temperatures too. It's like your body's going into hibernation mode. We're getting off tonight to go to Tina's and just kind of planning out eating a lot of meals, protein, a lot of meat, carbs, and just trying to get a surplus of energy for the days ahead. I'm also trying to figure out like the lightest weight food that I can carry through the whites. I think I'm just gonna get a ton of ramen bricks and a ton of protein, figure out some new stuff. It's tough out here. Have to carry a lot of food. One of our friends, Happer, was mentioning that he is eating five pounds of food a day. <laughs> and he did a resupply for three days and his food bag weighed 15 pounds. Insane. <laughs> the Whites have really just been teaching me patience because it's an entirely different hike now. We are only hiking one and a half um, miles an hour. A lot slower. This morning we hiked 1.3 in an hour. Really tough. Slower journey, more hungry, but beautiful terrain so the trail is humbling us and we've just got to switch gears and adapt to this kind of new journey that we're on for the next week or so. So many amazing swimming holes on this stretch. But look at all that foam. Oh man. And the water kind of has a Lipton iced tea flavor to it. Really amazing, but wow, that's foamy. Bunch of beautiful waterfalls, though. But now we gotta go up all this. We are starting our ascent up South Kinsman. We heard it gets really, really super technical. Oh man, look at this one. Beauteous. Simply gorgeous. And we got a bunch of little smaller ones here. Cascading down the rocks. 
So this is a really unfortunate blow down right here. You either have to do what Fern's doing and just kind of go around um, up on the the moss and the, up there, or you do the more stupid thing like me, and you go around on this rock and step around here, which is probably not recommended because it's Slippery. Terrible placement for a blowdown. Look at that, just going right across. Right across where you'd go. Yeah, they're taking the high road. Smart decision. <laughs> Ooh. Going up the Kinsman Ridge Trail. It's looking a lot like this. Yes. Very bouldery. Very steep. We departed from the creek. And we're hiking up to the pond and then the technical bit. Yeah, baby. This is now the trail. Just a narrow crevice in between all these boulders. Simply gorgeous. Covered in moss. Lots of moss. Lots of moss. So we got some pretty deep mud here, uh, let's see, oh yeah, ooh, oh yeah, don't fall into that, this is, we almost fell in, this is super unstable, but yeah, that will, that'll eat your shoe right up, nice, look at that. So the climb up Kinsman Ridge is no joke. This is worse than Lehigh Gap. This is like 10 Almost times in. worse. This Way is more technical. Real climbing here in the whites. <sighs> yeah. We are loving it in our whites. Heck yeah. Woo -woo. Heck yeah. Look at that beautiful view behind us. Woo. Way better than our, Palmerton. Our first real whites view. Yeah. Our first New Hampshire view, I think. Yep, first one. That's insane. So proud of us. Oh yeah. The rest of everyone is slack packing up this, so we're really proud that we're Lame. tricking our packs up. <laughs> Ooh. I think we've made it up the very, very steep Kinsman Ridge ascent going up South Kinsman. You know, I don't think this trail is on the terrifying 25 list, but oh my God, it should be. Because wow, that was some, um, that was climbing. That was crazy. And we're pretty much at the top now. Yes. Got just a little bit more to go, about 0.4 from the summit. We got a magnificent view today. Can't wait to see it from the top. Oh, uh, I half expect to see a bear. And this one. Ooh. <laughs> nice little, uh, cougar. <laughs> nice little spot. Mountain cougars. Yeah. Might, might be a nest of them in there. Summit's just up there. A little bit more climbing. <laughs> Nearly there. Here's our first view of Franconia Ridge and Lafayette is in the clouds, always in the clouds. 
I cannot believe we'll be there in about two days. Wow. We're here at the true summit of South Kinsman, although not as much of a view as it was back on the false summit. Much better. This is so amazing. And we're gonna go over to North, which uh, I don't even know if you can see it from here. North Kinsman is over there. We're gonna scramble over there. All right, part of the Kinsman Ridge trail that I remember, that we remember, get, starts to get kind of technical. Guess you could follow along this crack right here, or some people have taken the easy way out and walked all over the moss. I'm gonna try to get up this way, I think. All right, we're, that's South Moose, um, South Moose. South Kinsman over there. There's Bloom. And over there, actually we have a really nice view of Mount Flume, this peak, and then this one right here is Liberty. Over here you have Little Haystack, Mount Lincoln, and then Lafayette is in the clouds. And almost up top of north now. And we're at the summit of North Kinsman. Wow. Well, the lookout. The lookout. Summit's back there. Just an amazing view. It's yeah. so incredible. Back home. Yeah, baby. The yeah, baby. We love. Yes. <laughs> yes. We got Mount Cannon right here with the uh, with the tower. Mount Cannon was the mount was the mountain that had the old man of the mountain on its cliff which unfortunately fell back in 01 or 02. And down here is Lonesome Lake. That's where we will diverge from the AT. The AT goes back down all the way to 93, and we're going down Fish and Jimmy, which goes down to the Lafayette Place camping area. We're gonna, I think, eat the rest of our food up here because we are, again, starving. Yeah, I feel like I need two stomachs and three buttholes out here, because <laughs> everything's working overtime. Yeah, let's eat the rest of our food and then go get some camp store. Camp store! Yeah, baby. Store. Well, good thing we came here when we did. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because mm -hmm. it is, uh, it's coming in. It's coming in, but yet the sun is out behind us. So we are getting burned. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. The sun just came out of nowhere. It was behind a cloud and now it's all up in our face. So we waited and our patience paid off. We got whole, the whole of Franconia Ridge right in view. The clouds parted and now Lafayette showing in her full beauty. We're gonna be there in two days. We're gonna go up Liberty Springs Trail, up to Liberty, hit that, come along the saddle here, and then start our, our ridge walk. It's amazing. For now, we have to scurry down to Lonesome Lake and get to our camp store. Get our camp store. Yeah, on. let's go. Let's get our camp store. Ooh. Are you gonna do the butt scooch? <laughs> do the butt scoot. <laughs> it's perfect. So we just ran into two people two that we know. Um, w the first one was, uh, her name is Autumn and she is the caretaker right now at the Kinsman Pond tent site. And she knows Christopher Marshburn. Yeah, and she knows Christopher Marshburn because they're all uh, caretakers. And yeah, we actually met her at the Nauman tent site last, last September when we were doing our traverse. Um, and she was the caretaker there. 
So that was really cool seeing her. I was like, do we know you? Have you ever been a, a caretaker at a hut? And yeah, it was pretty cool. And then um, we met uh, we met Driftwood. Yeah, who I've been Instagram friends with for a long time. I followed his artwork. He's an amazing fine artist. And he just happened to be out in the lights on a section hike. And he also offered to Sherpa a resupply up the mountain. To us. He <laughs> yeah, did. he so did. So that's cool. We know people now, or I mean, we did, but that was uh, really nice, really nice to meet him. And uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was really great. We weren't expecting to meet two people right after the other that we know. Yeah, it's getting pretty steep now. But yeah, just really cool experience. Shout out to you both. Really sweet, nice, nice seeing you again. Yeah, nice seeing you guys. <laughs> yeah, there's no bottom step. They said, sorry, your step rotted out. You don't need a new one. Not easy for ladies with short legs. Yeah, you have a disadvantage. <laughs> so we are about a half mile from Lonesome Lake where we'll get on the Fish and Jimmy Trail. It has been a slow going day. We just reached what is hopefully the end of the very steep down technical rocky bit. So let's go, yeah, let's go back up again, is what the trail is saying to us. It's been, it's been a slow day, a really good day, but uh, slow. We've gone nine hour, nine miles in nine hours. So a mile an hour. And uh, yeah, we're just having fun out here. Uh, however, we told, uh, we told Tina to get here at five and it is 4.45. And we still have like a mile and a half to hike down to the road. So she might have to wait for a few minutes. I am so sorry about that, Tina. Um, but yeah, this day just kind of got away from us. But overall, it's been, it's been a good day. We've been seeing a lot, a lot of through hikers, no bow. And who we have never seen on trail before up until now and they just they just keep coming up behind us i think a lo i think a lot of them are slack packing cuz they're just flying by us we're kind of trying to take our time so we don't slip and fall and break something and yet all these people are just coming up behind us and uh all with AT tags well, most of them so we're starting to think maybe we there's a few flip floppers in the mix, but yeah, all the we're apparently in a pretty big bubble now. We haven't seen any of these people, so I don't know how we hiked past them. <laughs> they must have all been at the shelter or something. But oh boy, Hi. we've reached Ooh. Lonesome Lake Hut on the Fish and Jimmy Trail. Oh baby, Fish and Jimmy. And his little Joey. Finally. Yeah, we're finally here. Need what a, a what a long day this is. So. Well, there's Lonesome Lake, everybody. Let's get a another view of it. We're on the Lonesome Lake Trail. It it runs uh, point three around the lake. Get an amazing view of Franconia. Oh, so amazing. Look at that. So beautiful. So amazing. We got the the lake from the other side. We've got some friendly ducks here. Hey. Quackers. There's some cute ducks. How's it going? Just hanging out. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't have any food for you. Hey, ducky. 
Do people usually feed you? Because you look like you want to be fed. <laughs> You're so pure, so pretty. I like your little fleck of blue on your on your wing there. So I guess we're actually yellow blazing for once. Ah! <laughs> now we're on the Fish and Jimmy Trail, which is not the AT. Uh, the Fish and Jimmy gets all the way down to Lafayette Place Campground. It is a bit shorter down to the road than the AT crossing, so we're taking out this bail point. And uh, cause Tina's already down there waiting for us. But so far this trail is been a lot nicer than the Kinsman Ridge. And I think if my, if my memory serves well, then it doesn't get too crazy. Cause we promised close call that it wouldn't get too steep. And <laughs> we owe it to him this time cause we've been giving him some off information. Uh, we'll see you guys down there. This thing is an absolute unit of caterpillar. It came up as a polymephis moth. Polymephis. Not sure. I've never seen one of these before. Here's an absolute unit. Here's an absolute unit. Polymephis moth. It is a giant silk moth. Wow. We've made it to the campground Lafayette and campground. Lafayette Place. We're not staying here, unfortunately. Oh, so We're getting picked up. Being here. Oh, I know. We're about to go to Camp Store. Yes. Yes. And the Camp Store. The real Camp Store. And uh, get some goodies. <laughs> and then we are going to go back to Tina's and shower up and just Chill. have a good time. Much needed fun time. Yeah. All right, guys. I think this will probably be it for the day. Yeah. We just want to hang out and uh, yeah, we're, we're pretty, we're pretty burnt out we're after tested, today. So but thanks for watching. Thank you so much, you guys. We're probably going to zero tomorrow now because I feel like we need it. All right, guys. We'll catch in. We found the best campsite ever. It's our campsite. And now we go to camp store. Oh my gosh. Is this... Do, do my eyes deceive me? Is this camp store? It's the camp store. It's the camp store. It's the camp store. It's the camp store. All right, that's how we got to end it. Bye, guys. Bye.